Today we're looking at the Huawei E5336 mobile Wi-Fi router. The E5336 is mainly used as a device that converts an internet connection through a data SIM card into Wi-Fi internet that several devices can use. The Huawei E5336 is very useful for people who travel a lot or for people in countries where fixed line internet access isn't as easily available. Let's take a closer look at the 5336 and then I'll show you how to set it up. The unit we're testing today is an unlocked quad band version which will work with almost any GSM mobile carrier in the world. The Huawei E5336 will work with 2G and 3G network speeds but does not currently support 4G speeds. Like every other Huawei mobile router on the market, this device has a rectangular shape with rounded corners and has a body that's made from plastic. While most Huawei routers in the past had simple status indicator displays with multicolored LEDs, the 5336 sports a 1.45 inch screen that displays all the status information. Once the device is powered on by holding down the power button, the screen displays lots of useful information like network signal strength, Wi-Fi connectivity, battery life, the name of your network, and your Wi-Fi password. It also displays the monthly data usage, which is pretty useful for keeping a tab on data overages. A button on the top edge of the device allows you to scroll through and select a few basic settings and options of the device through the screen. The bottom edge of the device has a micro USB port to charge the device. You can either charge it through a computer or AC wall adapter. Huawei provides a micro USB cable but does not provide a wall adapter. You can use any standard AC to USB wall adapter. The back cover can be pried off using a shallow slot on the right hand edge of the device. The Wi-Fi password can also be found on the inside of this plastic cover. The device is powered by a removable 1500 milliamp hour battery which should get you about five hours of regular internet use. Removing the battery reveals a full-size SIM card slot and a micro SD card slot. You can insert a micro SD card to store data and access this data through the device's local network. There's also a reset button on top which will restore it to factory settings. Setting the device up is fairly straightforward. Insert a SIM card into the SIM card slot, install the battery, and power up the device. Once it powers up and your network's name appears on the screen, you need to connect your devices or computers to the E5336's Wi-Fi network. In your computer or device's Wi-Fi settings, look for the network that begins with Huawei E5336. Connect to that network. When prompted for a password, enter the password displayed on the 5336's screen. It should now connect your computer or device to the Wi-Fi network. For most networks, this is all the setup you'll need to do. However, if your computer still cannot connect to the internet, you'll need to go through a few additional steps. Open an internet browser and type in 192.16 8.8.1. Into the address bar and hit enter. This opens up a Huawei interface and if it isn't connected to the internet, you'll see the word disconnected in the status bar. Click on the connection settings link. It then asks you for a username and password. Both the username and password in this case are the word admin. Click login and this now takes you to the settings interface. On the left hand menu of the interface, click on the profile management tab and now click on the new profile button. This opens up a little window that requires a few pieces of information First, give the profile any name of your liking. I'm going to call mine Your Network. Most networks do not require a username or password. If your network does require it, you'll need to get this information from your carrier. The most important piece of information here is the APN. You can get this either directly from your cellular network provider or through a Google search. In my case, it's the word mobile data. Now click save and you should see that the new profile created is the default profile being used. Click on the home tab on the top left hand corner of the screen and you'll be taken back to the initial interface. And if the profile was correctly set up, you will see the word connected next to your mobile network. And now you should be able to connect to the internet. I really wish Huawei would make the setup process much easier, but the current system does work pretty well though. So our overall thoughts about the Huawei E5336. The 5336 is a pretty useful little device if you travel a lot or if you live in a country where fixed line internet connections are not that common. It's fairly simple simple to set up and use and lets you connect multiple tablets, phones, laptops and desktops to the internet. It also uses a SIM card directly and doesn't need any additional 3G USB router. Overall a very useful and well designed product. The link to this device is below. If you found this review useful, please hit that like button and subscribe for more reviews. Thanks for watching.